Jonathan Del Gandio has a PhD in communication studies and has been studying vibes for approximately 30 years. He is a published author, an award-winning teacher and an engaged intellectual. And for his doctoral work, he developed his own philosophy of the vibe referred to as bodily emanation. And he has published essays on the topic in both scholarly and popular presses. He has been interviewed for television, radio and print media and gives talks and workshops for a variety of audiences. Jason's latest project is 20minutevibe.com which is an educational space for learning about the vibe. And on the personal side, Jason equally enjoys drifting through city landscapes and sitting quietly in natural environments. He is also dedicated to social justice and is a lover of live music stimulating conversations and international travel. And as we prepare to delve into our conversation on the topic at hand, how to communicate with your vibe? Here's an exciting twist. First, let us tickle his brain with a rapid fire round of random words. So Jason, I'm going to mention a few and I would love to hear the first thing that comes to your mind in response without thinking much. If you're ready, let's get started. Sure. Well, first, obviously, thank you for having me on the show. And yes, let's get to the rapid fire. <laughs> All right. Most welcome. And I'm going to welcome you shortly. So here comes the first bullet. Curiosity. Uh, smart. Past. History. Invention. Technology. Future. Uh, world liberation. Book. Knowledge. Vibe. Uh, feeling. Aliens. Uh, yes. Universe. Uh, oneness. Leadership. Uh, charisma. Last one is success. Yes, I'll just say yes. I have no idea. What, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have to do that one. <laughs> okay, no worries. And that was spot on. And thank you for participating in the first rapid fire round. Sure. So sportily, there is one more rapid fire round toward the end of the episode. And before I welcome you, let me welcome the audience. So folks, welcome to the Guiding Voice podcast series where we embark on transformative conversations for a better future. I am your host, Navin Samala, dedicated to making the world a better place through valuable discussions that add value not only to your life, but also to your career. And thank you so much for tuning in. Jason, hearty welcome to TGV, The Guiding Voice. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Um, I'm, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, thank you to, to your listeners for, for listening. I really appreciate it. And I, I'm just here for the, a good conversation. Absolutely. Pleasure to have you. And the moment I came across your profile and the kind of study you are into, I was really intrigued and let me thought, let me welcome Jason to The Guiding Voice and thank you for accepting. And let's get the ball rolling. So, Jason, let's start with your success mantra as in, please talk to us about top three things that have attributed to your success so far. Uh, top three things for my success, I would say number one would be opportunity. In other words, having the privilege and opportunity to be at the right place at the right time, involved in a series of subcultures, of microcultures, where people talked about the word vibe. And then from an early age, about the age of 19 or 20, I took an intellectual interest in this thing that we call the vibe. How do we explain it? How do we define it? I would say the second thing for my success would be my mentors and my teachers. Again, being in the right place at the right time. And then both as a college student and also in graduate school, finding the right people that uh, believed in me, that supported me, allowed me to develop my ideas about the vibe. And I would say third thing for my success uh, would be vision and imagination. The, mm -hmm. the ability to envision a better world, to imagine a better world. <laughs> yeah, imagination is something which is extraordinary and that actually leads to innovations and everything that happens around in futuristic, right? I, I totally get you. And Jason, what is this vibe exactly? And why did you get attracted to this? Sure. So um, one way to define the vibe is the exchange of energy between you and other people. So again, the exchange of energy between you and other people. Uh, so for example, you're on a first date, right? And you're trying to evaluate whether or not you guys connect. That's a vibe, right? Yeah. Or maybe you are at a musical concert. Yeah. 10,000 people, you're all listening to the same band, the same musician, there's a certain kind of energy in that crowd. Or you're at a sporting event, and there's 80,000 people out cheering for their team and whatnot, right? And you feel the electricity, the energy, the mood, the atmosphere, all that is a vibe. Or even here, uh, between you and I, so you're the host of this show, you try mm -hmm. to connect with your, your guests, you yeah. try to connect with your audience. Each one of those connections is a different kind of vibe. 
So again, it's the exchange of energy between you and other people. Now, to tweak that, though, we have to ask the question, what is that energy? So for instance, is this energy um, physical or metaphysical? Is it material or immaterial? Is it spiritual or scientific? Or maybe it's all these things. Right? In other words, there are different ways to experience and to understand what we call the vibe. Mm -hmm. Got it. And Jason, how can we tap into or feel the vibes of other people? All right. Uh, so one of the ways to become uh, more attuned to the vibe is first be aware of your body, and then second be aware of your surroundings. In other words, if you're too uh, if you're too much in your head, you have too much psychological clutter going on, it kind of cuts you off to the wider world. So first, uh, attend to your body. How are you feeling? Where are you? What's your experience like? And then also attend to your surroundings and your environment. And then from there, try to develop your ability to uh, feel and to experience different kinds of vibes. Yeah. And uh, can we get that vibe virtually as well? Like, do you get my vibe? I I'm just curious. Yeah. Say that again. Can you repeat, uh, repeat the question, please. Yeah. M my question is, can we experience vibe virtually as well? Like, you and I are... Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, the answer is yes. So I definitely think there are different uh, degrees of experience. Okay. So I think face-to-face -face is the strongest vibe. Mm -hmm. Right now, though, we're, we're on a recording or we're doing a, a podcast episode. Yeah. And in that situation, you can definitely feel a connection with the person. You can feel a feeling, the exchange of energy between us. So the answer would be yes, totally. Okay, got it. Now, I want to improve my vibe because there is a saying, right? Your vibe attracts your tribe. And honestly, after starting my podcasting, my life has changed forever. Like... The kind of connections I'm making, the kind of impressive profiles that I'm coming across, right? It's amazing. So likewise, I want to improve my vibe further. Is it possible? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, sure. People can have their vibe. They can change their vibes, improve their vibes, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing to be is uh, self-aware. In other words, be aware of who you are. Mm -hmm. Be aware of the kind of vibe you give off on a regular basis. Then from there, if you want to change your vibe, try to uh, kind of set your intention. In other words, uh, be aware of the vibe you're giving off then set your intention to change it and then practice though. In other words, practice giving off different kinds of vibes on a daily basis and then see how the people respond to you. If it's a positive response, you know you're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. If it's a, a negative response, you're doing the wrong thing. You have to change it again. Okay. Now comes my interesting question. Like how can I use my vibe as a form of communication or a mode of communication? Sure. Well, a lot of people think of the word vibe as kind of a catchphrase and a throwaway term, but actually it is a form of communication, right? And so you have to learn how to project the right vibe at the right time. Mm -hmm. So whatever situation you are in, you know, do I want to match that vibe? Do I want to change that vibe? Do I want to adapt to the vibe, right? And so learn to project a certain kind of energy, a certain kind of mood, and a certain kind of vibe at the right time, at the right place, with the right people, etc. Got it. And can I shield myself from negative vibes? At times, right, I've come across certain scenarios wherein if we, if i talk to somebody right they are always cribbing about okay this is wrong and that is not working so can i shield from those negative vibes oh uh, yes you can it takes practice though it's not easy to do right mm -hmm. so i have a good friend she always says to shield up and she, the way that she sees it is that putting on like a suit of armor so the other the negative energy and negative vibes can't come in another way to think about this is a rubber suit so if you wear a rubber suit the energy or the negative vibes bounce off of you. Another way to think about this is learning to not to internalize negative vibes. So you may be in a situation uh, with a one-on-one -on -one conversation or in a group meeting and perhaps a negative vibe, a bad vibe, but you can just observe it, not internalize it, right? And let those vibes kind of pass through your body and learn to release that negative energy and to ground yourself. A big part of that is learning to... Um, you know, I, I envision it like the vibes going through my body, out my feet, into the ground, and letting the world to transmute that negative energy into something else. So you can suit up, uh, you can armor up, you can release it, you can ground yourself, right? Each person has to find what works for them, but it is possible, though, to release those negative vibes and avoid those negative vibes. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we come across this phrase, good vibes only, right? How might this phrase be misleading? Well, it is a popular phrase, especially in North America where I live, uh, good vibes only. And I, under I understand why people say that. Like, no one wants bad vibes, right? Yeah. But it's kind of a misnomer, and it kind of cuts you off to all the other vibes. So there are good vibes, bad vibes, ugly vibes, chill vibes, exciting vibes, sad vibes. So, for instance, if you go to a wedding, that's a good vibe, hopefully. If yeah. you go to a funeral, that's probably a sad vibe. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? And so the idea is to not just assume there's only good vibes, but rather open yourself up to different kinds of vibes that will make yourself uh, um, more worldly, more sophisticated, and have more control and mastery over the vibe. Mm -hmm. Got it. 
and how can people use the vibe to be more charismatic uh so in terms of being more charismatic i guess metaphorically you might say to allow your inner light to shine so again to allow your inner light to shine right mm-hmm. and then from there though it's also an issue of being uh present and being in the moment right uh if you're more present and more in the moment uh you you evoke a certain kind of energy in other people and at the same time though you don't want to overdo it right mm-hmm. if you try too hard to be charismatic people read it as being fake and phony right mm. so again let your inner light shine uh be in the moment and then don't overdo it okay and uh, jason we also come across something called aura right are vibe and aura interrelated are they different are they same how to distinguish they could, they're they're similar they're not exactly the same uh depends on kind of what history and what tradition you want to work out of um some people talk about uh, auras some people cl- uh, cleanse their auras some people can see auras and read auras um it's all part of a, a similar conversation about the exchange of energy it's not necessarily the same as a vibe though in my mind an aura kind of like your the presence that surrounds you and your vibe is something more active that you project out into the world also let's uh, focus on do other cultures also talk about these vibes oh yeah as far as i know yes so I, again i'm in north america we use words like vibes vibrations energy mood atmosphere mm-hmm. similar words found over in portugal in spain in germany in japan uh if we go back into like into history so if we go to um ancient chinese philosophy Uh, in terms of Taoism, Eastern Buddhism and so what not, they have the the term uh, chi, right, which is yeah. the, the vital life force. In ancient Sanskrit, they have the word prana, which is yeah. also the the vital life force, right? And so if you look into history, you realize that most human beings throughout history across different societies and cultures mm-hmm. actually have some interest in human energy systems. Awesome. Awesome and this has been fabulous and one of the quickest conversation and i loved every bit of it so far let's uh, add some more excitement and some more spice to the episode if you are ready i'll kick off the second rapid fire round <laughs> okay let's go let's do it let's bring it on so here comes the first bullet if you could have one gigantic billboard anywhere with anything on it what would it say um i would say i would say uh, to chase your own vibe flow chase your own vibe flow amazing correct yes yeah okay and if you were to swap your life with someone for a day who would it be and why uh this is a tough one maybe the dalai lama and dalai i lama. say that because it would be interesting to experience his grace and his uh his humility oh okay and can you describe yourself in just one word uh one word i'll i'll say two words a uh, radical intellectual <laughs> radical i bet i bet you are <laughs> <laughs> and uh, can you complete this three times never have i ever never have i ever skied mm-hmm. uh never have never ever have i been in a spaceship and never have i uh swam with whales <laughs> amazing <laughs> okay and if you could invite three people from any era to your dinner table who would be at that table Uh my first choice would be Simone de Beauvoir who was a famous French intellectual author philosopher mid 20th century. Uh I would say Abby Hoffman who was mm-hmm. a countercultural revolutionary in the 1960s. And then for my third choice I might say Henry David Thoreau mm. who was a famous author and activist uh from the 1800s in America. Amazing spot on you have the list ready. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes the last one for the rapid fire what is one electronic gadget or a fantasy gadget that you like to see or invent yourself oh tough one um i would say some type of robot that can clean my house for me <laughs> got it got it and let's uh, flip back to the mainstream here comes the last but one question so how can i create a better vibe in specific situations with work between friends when i'm with friends versus when i'm with family etc i would say uh learn how to read the vibe of each and every situation uh, whether or not so if you're with your friends with your family uh with your children uh your romantic partner at work uh, learn to read the vibe of each situation and then figure out how to adjust your own vibe do i need to change the vibe in the room do i need to adapt to the vibe in the room do i need to elevate it or bring it down right so it becomes a certain kind of like a maestro that can play with different kinds of vibes yeah got it amazing and i thoroughly enjoyed every bit of this conversation so 
How is your experience being hosted on the Guiding Voice platform? Oh, uh, this has been wonderful. It's been fun. It's been challenging. It's a good back and forth. Uh, it's high energy. Uh, so I really appreciate. It. All right. Thank you so much for joining me, and indeed, uh, a great honor to have. Uh, A radical intellectual like you on my show, <laughs> and I'm sure I really appreciate you. it. I, I appreciate I appreciate you as well as your listeners. Uh, uh, it's very kind and generous. Yeah, yeah, sa- same here, and uh, really uh, looking forward to many more conversations in future, Jason. I appreciate you taking time for making this today. I, I said uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Pleasure, pleasure is all mine, uh, Jason. So, friends, that was our episode with Jason Del Gandio. And before we jump into the fun trivia section, we have a quick request. In case if you haven't already subscribed to the Guiding Voice podcast, please subscribe from wherever you have tuned in because subscribing keeps you updated on new episodes. Also, if you have joined this episode from audio platforms like Spotify or Apple Podcasts, request you to follow and provide a rating or review because it is going to help us expand our reach. Thank you so much in advance. and also if you have enjoyed the conversation found it useful please share with at least three of your friends or colleagues who would also like tgv the guiding voice to so spread the knowledge and help others grow just like you so so far we have an amazing conversation with jason del gandio on vibes right so today's video is about the origins of vibes i thought i would compliment you with some information based on my little research of course i am not as intelligent as jason and he has been doing some quite amazing work i thought i would present you a few facts which are not li- which are not widely known so here comes the fact the term vibes right it emerged in the mid 20th century and gaining popularity in american english slang initially derived from vibration it evolved to represent the energy or emotional aura surrounding a person place or situation and popularized during the counter culture movement of the 1960s and 1970s so vibes became associated with positivity and harmony and it also refers to the emotional resonance in music and has permeated various aspects of popular culture remaining a versatile term used to convey ambience mood or emotional state and in fact we have learned a lot of information about vibe and i wish all of you to start may, to, to start acquiring more and more positive vibes and be a charismatic leader and if you have any tips related to improving our positive vibes do let me know if you are watching it on youtube you can feel free to comment there or if you have found this episode on any audio platform you can comment on social media from wherever you have found the episode and that's it for today thank you so much for tuning in and for being part of our awesome tgv community folks we love to hear from you so do not hesitate to share your ideas feedback topic recommendations or guest speaker suggestions either through social media or you can also email us at theguidingvoiceforyou@gmail.com let us create content that resonates with you and i am your host navin samala a lifelong learner and my goal is to have impactful conversations that improve not only your life but also your career and in next time take care stay inspired and remember the future holds great things because the best is yet to come Goodbye for now see you on the next episode with another amazing guest